Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and I've had so many requests just to ask how did you install the custom game mod pack? Now, many people have already installed it and thank you to the people and especially the man that messaged me on Facebook of my resonant Facebook group. There'll be a link in the description if you want to go and check that out. I do actually upload videos to that Facebook page. But many people don't know how to install it. And if you have the battle or beta, it's a lot of fun to mess around with and play with. Now, it's not official, so, you know, Tailwords, um, they've not taken it down yet, but we'll see what happens in the future. What you're going to want to do is go to your favourite search engine, which I'm using Google, uh, but you shouldn't use, right, Ecosia. Okay, everyone should use Ecosia because we can plant trees. And you go to mod db now you, you you can you can do this and it sort of works but the way i do it is i just type mountain blade banner lord mods and it should be pretty much the first thing that comes up as you can see mods mountain blade 2 banner lord and of course uh, some great videos by a great youtube <laughs> but here we are on the mod db page and there's so many mods that people are preparing and you can look through and you can see all the stuff but there aren't really any that you can download at the moment as you probably would understand but here right at the top we have battle test so we go into battle test here and as you can see, uh, you, I mean, there's some cool screenshots and stuff like that. Now, the version I was playing was an earlier version, so you weren't actually able to order troops really on the battlefield or do many formations and things like that. But this one you can. So there is actually an installation guide on here if you want to go check it out, but I'll run you through in the video anyway. So click on Battle Test 2 for Banlords and just download it, and it should come up here as a zip. And this is what you should find inside the zip. Uh, <laughs> Has anyone ever really bought Winmar? <laughs> then what you're going to want to do is go to the Steam with Mountain Blade 2 Banlord on it. You're going to want to right click, you go into properties, you go into browse local files. Now, you should get these two up side by side and then you should pop them up like so. You've got your Banlord files and you've got the zip with all the stuff in. First off, in the Banlord files, you go to bin, you go to win64 shipping client and you're going to want to go into here and you're going to want to take your bat file and just pop it over into here now i already have a version of it but i'm going to replace it since this is a newer version you won't get that probably because this will probably be the first time you're actually putting it now also what you want to do is go back out of that you're going to want to go into your modules just like you would in mountain blade 2 Banlord, and you're going to want to put this battle test file over into there now i'm going to replace the files once again but you don't have to do that because i already had another version of the mod and finally, you'd probably be done at that point if that's all you really wanted to do. But really, you're kind of wanting to, if you want to be able to do formations and things with your guys in the, the game, you want to go into your native file, you want to go to your scene obj here, multiplayer skirmish map 001A, and of course, you pop this in here, the nav mesh dot bin. Now, that should all be done. So let's see how we launch it up. What we gotta do is what you might expect is just to go into Banlord, just you know, click play, that sort of thing. And when it brings up the launcher, you just go because in DLC you can see it's got battle test, but as far as I'm aware, if you just click play with battle test on, I don't think it actually works. And yeah, as you can see, it doesn't actually work in the game because it's not a legit mod. It does show up in your DLCs alongside native, but really it's not actually there. The way you launch it is you go into your Mountain Blade 2 Battle on Files, you browse location files, and you find in the bin, window shipping client, that battle test that you put in previously. You just double click on it, it will launch a command thing, and of course, it will launch Mountain Blade 2 Battle Lords battle testing. So, once we get straight into it, I'm gonna show you a little bit about how it works. Into battle test, we go. And we have battle test 0.2. You can change the player soldier count. So this will be your friendly players. So let's say we want 100 guys on my side. And we want uh, 100 guys on the other side, of course. Now you can choose your soldiers per row. And of course your formation positions. We're going to keep it on... Let's put it on... Uh, let's put it on 40. Now my player character, of course, you can choose sort of things. But I'm going to go into my multiplayer character. I've never actually tried that. But of course, what's a better time than to do it now? Right? Let's go into infantry battalion. Let's set one as some savages, a battalion, the enemy soldiers can be sturgeons, infantry. We can set them as warriors. Okay. So, if you want, you can set the free camera. I'm going to put the distance up a little bit just so a bit further back so we can sort of sort it out a little bit and show you guys. Uh, as you can see, 
I wouldn't set yourself as a multiplayer couch because uh, this happens. But you can now do orders and everything as you wish. You can put your guys into positions. You can, you know, face them in that direction. But we're just going to get them to charge. This is going to be quite interesting. Pressing C means you can switch camera here. So I'm now currently in free camera. Pressing C once again teleports me back to the player camera. And of course, does that. Let's watch the clash here. This is going to be interesting. I'm actually not sure who's going to win this because we have one that's got a better swing, but we also have one that's got better armor and, of course, a shield. Oh, my, but I think the better attack damage is coming out on top. Let's just go into free camera a little bit. Oh, my, yes. It looks like my guys are winning pretty well. You can see my character just running through there. He's not having any of it. He doesn't want any of that mess. He doesn't want any of that whatsoever. And the final one has been taken care of. Now, of course, shift is speed up your camera and do that sort of thing. My guy's just going to run off. But it does say on mod DB that you can press tab to exit the battle. But as far as I'm aware, it doesn't do anything. You can hear me pressing tab quite loud. So unfortunately, you, you do have to, you know, log out every time you play, which is a bit of a pain at the moment. But of course, once again, it's only a mod. So yeah, that battle tester video that I did before was actually... It looked to you like I was just going between games. I had to relaunch the game every time I wanted to play a new scenario. But it was worth it, because it looked goddamn badass. Another question many, many people asked is what specs I'm running at. I'm currently running at the specs you can see on screen there. You see I have an i7, 7700K, 7, a 1080 Ti, and of course 16 gigs of RAM. And as you can see, it's running about 50 to 60 FPS when you're getting a thousand troops on screen at the same time. So it runs pretty goddamn well. And, okay. Um, what, uh, my, okay, so... My player agent teleported to where my camera was, so we got slaughtered. But that's fine. Okay, these guys are starting to shoot at the moment. As you can see, especially when arrows start going. It does it does lag a little bit, but of course, this isn't officially Bannerlord. So, you know, I can't actually tell these guys to move forward because I'm dead. So these guys are just... You can't... Uh, guys, move forward. These guys aren't going to get in range anytime soon. Move... Okay, I've made a bit of a mistake here. I feel like this is a little bit of an unfair battle. Just arrows pinging off these guys. They look pretty cool, though, standing in line. <laughs> As you can see, remember, if you are playing, make sure that you issue your orders before you die. Because you have issues like this, where one side is able to shoot and the other isn't. Because they're not charging, so they can't quite get in range. Eventually, they'll be able to fire back. Eventually. I feel like it's going to be a bit late by that time, though. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, right in the neck. Oh god. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. You'll be. A oh, he took an arrow to the knee, that one. Aha! The first wave is starting to fire back. Here we go. <laughs> the first is starting. Oh, now they're all starting to fire. Arrows are now going the other way. As you can see, 35, 36 FPS. You can see in the top right, 39, 40 FPS. I mean, these guys are much more spread out than the other. <gasps> No. They're picking up arrows off the... F what? They're not. They are. And now they're drawing the swords because they've run out of ammo. <gasps> they oh my... I have never seen this before. The AI picks arrows off off the floor. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. That is incredible. Oh, he really took one to the head. Guys, you are seeing something new today. That is so cool. That is awesome. They pick off arrows that have just been dropped on the floor or shot on the floor. And they fire them back. i never seen that before in this game. And I've played a lot of these battle tests. Wow. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope this video was useful for you. It's a fun little thing to play with if you guys want to do it. But if you guys want to just see me make videos on it, then make sure you leave a comment down below. But until then, guys, I will see you in the next one.